You're about to listen to an excerpt of Secret City Geek Lab broadcast on KTSTFM.com every Wednesday at 7 o'clock p.m. For more news, reviews, and interviews from the world of geek, visit the Geek Lab at secretcitycomedy.com slash geek lab or like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash secretcity. Enjoy the show. So up first, let's talk about Beauty and the Beast. Uh, the reason uh, I'm bringing up Beauty and the Beast, this show is already over as I'm recording this, but Orange County has a lot to offer when it comes to uh, Broadway caliber uh, shows, and uh, that's especially true over at the Orange County Performing Arts Center, and specifically at the Seagerstrom Center, or Art Center, Center for the Arts, <laughs> that's it. Seagerstrom, Seagerstrom Center for the Arts. I uh, had a chance to take my daughter to see their production of Beauty and the Beast, uh, it's actually a uh, net productions uh, production of Beauty and the Beast. This is the one that uh, happened uh, that Disney had put out. Um, first off, uh, let me just say I saw the Broadway version of Beauty and the Beast when it was over at the Pantages. Uh, was it the Pantages? At uh, one of the theaters down in um, Westwood, uh, Westwood, and uh, it was basically the Broadway production. Pretty much most of the cast from the original New York production had done this, was in that show, and it was an amazing time. Uh, so when I went to see it over at the uh, Orange County Performing Arts Center, uh, I noticed that uh, they didn't quite have the set, the million dollar set that they had, and I realized, you know, it's a traveling show. Uh, I'm sure they don't have the Disney dollars, the budget to produce uh, the big production value and the pro- big props. Um, to put on a show that that rivals the original, and so it didn't rival the original, but it was still nonetheless a really good show. Why? Well, let's start with the foundation. The Oscar-nominated story of Beauty and the Beast still holds up today. When finding love goes beyond physical appearances, but on the quality of a character. The music is probably the best that Alan Menken and Howard Ashman wrote as a team, with songs like Belle, Gaston, and the addition of Human Again shows off the musical and lyrical brilliance of this songwriting team, whose time was cut way too short. Tim Rice also came in to bring rich emotion to many of the songs that were not written for the original movie. You'll marvel once again at how these songs are, uh, how these songs just really touched the American fabric of the American musical. So once you have this strong foundation of a show, you need a strong cast, and you get that with the leads. From the moment she steps on stage, you believe that Hilary Myberger is Belle. She has the voice of Belle, and her confidence and maturity draws you to her performance. And it's this maturity that she brings to her performance that causes the character of Belle to stand up above all the other characters in that in the show. Um you know, she's the she's the the anchor that carries the show, and everyone is trying to live up to the standard that Bell sets. Derek Pete is also as the Beast, and you see him grow from uh, from uh, grow and mature as a boy in Beast clothing clothing to a man who ultimately learns to love. Playing the villains, Tim Rogan and Jordan Aragon are Gaston and LeFou, respectively. Uh, their performances are fine. Uh, I just felt like maybe it was just a little too over the top, a little too cartoony, which is a choice uh, they made. It just kind of, uh, you know, caught me, you know, made it noticeable that uh, these guys were playing cartoon characters. And then the other leads, Paul Crane as Maurice, James May as Cogsworth, Hassan Naziri Rabadi as Lumiere, and Kristen Stewart as Mrs. Potts. They all do an admirable job of bringing their characters to life. Although to say that each made their own roles their own doesn't really apply here. Don't get me wrong, they did all a great job, but each of these characters, from Lumiere to Mrs. Potts, are well-defined, not only from the movie, but from the original Broadway play. And Hassan Naziri Robati does uh, manage to recreate the whimsy that Gary Beach brought to the original Broadway production. Uh, really fun play. My daughter had a great time watching it. Finally, what makes these produ- what makes this production of Disney's Beauty and the Beast worth seeing is the showstoppers. Uh, these fantastic numbers. Uh, the opening number of Belle. Uh, the fun. Uh, tavern scene uh, and song of Gaston, the uh, spectacle of pots and plates and silverware dancing and Be Our Guest, and the emotional hard-hitting human again, as each of the characters dream of what it would be like to be a uh, human being once again. Uh, 
Each number is well choreographed, and the number that you'll remember, uh, that I remember from 15 years ago, was the number of Gaston, which was reproduced amazingly uh, in this production. Uh, I said that Beauty and the Beast is actually already over, and the reason I uh, bring this up today is one is that the Orange County Performing Arts Center uh, continues to put out great performances and shows that are perfect for kids. Uh, the prices are good, uh, rather than paying the 200 to 300 that you would normally spend on a Broadway play. Uh, seats start at $29, so it's a really good, um, really good value for your money. Uh, my my six-year-old had a blast. She was dancing and showing off her jazz hands and spirit fingers after each number or each show stopping number. And if you're bringing kids, uh, like I did an hour before the show starts, the kind folks at the Segerstrom center for the arts have put together activity stations, which include photo opportunities, a puppet building station, um, and a library complete with children's books and coloring sheets. Also, they really try to do it up by offering a food fair that is themed toward the show. The Patina Restaurant Group uh, created these themed jelly-filled cupcakes, and my six-year-old and I had the Red Rose Cupcake. So having said all that, a uh, really great time, good affordable price to see live theater, which is very rare in Orange County. And then also the Segerstrom is producing seven more Broadway quality shows this year, including Chicago, Andrew Lloyd Webber's staging of The Wizard of Oz, Mamma Mia, The Book of Mormon, Jersey Boys, Ghost, and Once. So if you uh, miss Beauty and the Beast this time around, there's more to come. I would uh, especially keep my eye out for Wizard of Oz, um, maybe the Jersey Boys, uh, I don't know the rest. If you're in the musical theater, this is uh, the place to be, and Orange County has it for all of us. This was a production of Secret City Geek Lab on KTSCFM.com. We broadcast every Wednesday at 7 o'clock p.m. Visit the Geek Lab at secretcitycomedy.com slash geeklab or like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash secretcity.